My name is uh, Ikram Nizam. I'm an orthopaedic surgeon in Melbourne. My areas of special interest are bikini anterior hip replacement, hip arthroscopy, hip resurfacing, joint reconstruction and surgery of the hip, knee reconstruction, knee replacements including patient-specific and partial knee replacements, cartilage preservation procedures including stem cell therapy, adult and paediatric trauma. I will take you through a case study of an 85-year-old patient undergoing bikini anterior hip replacement for osteoarthritis of her hip. The anterior hip replacement has been done in Europe for decades with excellent outcomes. In the bikini anterior hip replacement, the scar is in the groin crease. Most patients are suitable for bikini anterior hip replacements, except those who are obese or very muscular. In such cases, I use a modified posterior approach with enhanced recovery and early discharge. I ensure all my patients have a good understanding of their condition, the proposed treatment and the likely outcomes including the benefits and risks of surgery. In addition, I give them a 25 to 30 page information pack which they have to read in order to understand the journey towards a hip or knee replacement or other surgical interventions. The advantages of bikini anterior hip replacement include less pain after surgery, less muscle weakness, no muscles or tendons, rapid recovery with patients going home early after surgery, less risk of dislocations, less limitations after surgery, early return to activities including driving within a week after surgery. Our enhanced recovery program for all hip and knee replacements enable patients to mobilize three to four hours after surgery and most patients are being discharged home within 24 hours, reducing post-operative risks such as infection, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. After surgery, patients are mobilized three to five hours later by a physiotherapist, initially with a frame and then crutches. Patients can then walk independently thereafter. Patients undergoing our enhanced recovery program have less pain, less muscle weakness and less drug side effects. The next day they are usually assessed by an anaesthetist and then shown how to use stairs by a physiotherapist before being discharged home after they are deemed safe to be discharged out of hospital. We follow up patients usually at two weeks for a wound check and functional assessment and then again at six weeks and then regularly thereafter every year or two with x-rays. I have enclosed the case notes at the end of this presentation. Please pause the video and advance to read.